Hi everyone, welcome to Baking with Nadia. It's the holiday seasons and I thought let's make a chocolate peppermint cake roll. It's fun and it's easy to make. So let's get into the ingredients and equipment. So we've got cake flour, baking powder, granulated sugar, cocoa powder, powdered sugar, eggs, candy canes, peppermint candy canes, peppermint extract, dark chocolate, sugar water, and coconut oil spray. And for the equipment, we're gonna use a half sheet tray, a cell pad or parchment paper, a spatula, pastry brush, pastry bag, and a pastry tip, and also our stand mixer with our whipping head. So we're gonna start by pouring our eggs into the bowl, and then we're gonna add the sugar and mix it on low speed, and gradually increase our speed as the mixture combines and it becomes fluffy and it raises almost uh, to the top or halfway up the bowl. And then what I've done is I've mixed my cake powder and my baking powder and my cocoa and I've sifted it all and then spoon by spoon we're gonna pour, pour it onto our wet ingredients and have the cake powder, uh, our dry ingredients combine with our wet ingredients until it's all done. Okay, we're ready now to spray our half sheet tray with some coconut oil spray. And I have a sill pad and this helps it not to stick to the bottom. You can use parchment paper. And I'll spray the sides. And I even like to spray the sill pad. Okay. Whenever I pour, I usually pour along the edges of the sheet tray and then allow the batter to move inwards and fill the center. And I've noticed that helps give it an even layer. So because um, our batter is thicker, it's not filling in the gaps, so I'm going to use an offset spatula like this to gently um, fill in the gaps and make it a little bit even. And this usually happens when you're making a half sheet tray, a roll cake with chocolate. I'm going to just lift and drop. Here is our chocolate peppermint cake roll. We'll go ahead and make the whipped cream icing and uh, finish decorating it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put some sugar water on top of our chocolate peppermint cake. And this will give it some moisture and it'll also give it a, a little bit sweeter taste. Daisy, did you want to join me? Come on over. Let me introduce Faisy. Bring that over. Hi, Faisy. This is my little boy who's almost five, Faisy. Faisy loves to bake with me. He's an amazing baker. Squeeze out.
ready to taste it? Mm -hmm. Let's cut into it. Now, I would have put the cake in the fridge for at least a half an hour so it firms up. Right now it's really soft and it might be harder to cut. How is it? Good. It tastes like cake. Cake with cake. And what kind of flavor? Mint. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this Baking with Nadia episode. Um, our chocolate peppermint cake roll turned out beautiful and very tasty. Um, also, I would like you to go visit the website to get the detailed recipes. It's www.bakingwithnadia.com. Also, please visit monafoundation.org. My proceeds of my channel go to this nonprofit organization which helps educate children all over the world in parts where kids can't receive an education because they're in poverty. And we know that education is what transforms lives and gets us out of ignorance and poverty. So please um, visit the monafoundation.org. And one of the schools that uh, Mona Foundation helps and funds is called the Batty School in Panama City. And my family and I were fortunate enough to visit that school and see how they use the funds for scholarships, for their programs, their computer classes, and science labs. And it really, it transforms the lives of these children who live in the poor area and it gives them an education to help them get out of poverty and not be ignorant so they can have skills to get a great job. So please visit monafoundation.org and contribute whatever you wish um, to this wonderful cause. Thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye.